Hundred times ten is a thousand. So every time, basically, what are you doing? Go ahead and start organizing your math notes. Do we put the your friend's idea? I will open it up so that you can see your friend's idea. Do we put the part you learned in? Yeah. All right. What do we do with that one? The summary. Oh, the summary. That's the summary. So what does the summary go in our math notebooks? In the summary page. Summary. Okay. I'm gonna open up the practice exercises so that you guys can see the work so you guys can add your friends ideas to your note cards you guys know which ideas we looked at however there might be some ideas that help you understand it a little bit better and you guys may pick from those okay. it'd be my idea and apply what you learn right uh -huh. apply? okay i already did it okay. okay notebook all right, the notebook is also up for you guys to submit. Make sure that you guys type in your reflection. I'm not sending you a reflection card because it's just a lot easier when you guys just add the text box straight into your notebook. So if I can ask that you guys please do that for me right now. Keep the summary up here so that you guys can see it while you guys are thinking and reflecting on your learning. Okay, make sure we are prioritizing our reflection. Give yourself enough time to really sit and think about what it is that you took from this lesson. And if maybe you were left a little confused, maybe you might feel like you didn't learn anything specifically today, no then what questions? No, no, no. Um, no reflection card, add the text box to the notebook. Oh. Um, 